Okay, good morning everybody. Um, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning. Waalaikumsalam. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Nice to meet you too for uh, this meeting because we will discuss about some materials here. Okay. Um, Mr. Alpon, can you help me to share the PPT? Okay, let me share it. Yeah, so our discussions today is, uh, is about the, the first slide, please. Okay, yeah, this is our problem today that we have, we will discuss is about the, okay, in this classroom, this is the phenomena in this classroom, students come from different city level of economy, social class, and also uh, students' ability. So um, as a teacher, as a teacher, what do you think about this phenomena? And also we are, as an ELT teacher, how we can solve this problem, this uh, problem, this is related to the students. Maybe anyone here wants to share, wants to uh, make it simple, or you have any experience about this problem? It's time for you guys. Okay, I will try it. Thank you. I will give my opinion about the diversity. The diversity, it's happened and it's very basic problem in another country and also in Indonesia. And it's a very big problem. And I think the government cannot solve this phenomena. And the government cannot get the what said cannot get the nice solution about the diversity, especially in a school in education. So as a teacher, I think that we have to what said to build up and grow up uh, to make the diversity so beautiful and can help and uh, can grow up the motivation of students to learning and uh, realize that the diversity it's also happened in, uh, in education. So we have to make the student realize that uh, diversity uh, will get uh, the what's it will get uh, the motivation of learning I think like this okay maybe I can eat the opinion from uh, Miss Yayu and Miss Benti said that uh, it's very big problem for the for the so for the society, especially in the class, because it will disrupt um, the learning process in the class. So, uh, as Miss Yayu said just now, government cannot solve this problem. So, how about it? So, the teacher must. Uh, must what is that give must give effect or must give good attitude for the student because the student can uh, do can join can follow what the teachers do uh, here uh, in my opinion I have five, I have five attitude for do the teachers. First, the teachers must do tolerancy attitudes or humanism attitudes. Why? Because in this in the class, uh, it's not only it's not only uh, what is that kind of person? of there many characters of there there are right student maybe and poor student or stupid student maybe or clever student and etc so the the teacher must be able to give good tolerance to the student and for the second is um, avoid ethnocentrism and racism 
Why? Because if uh, the the teachers do that, of course, it will make perpecahan to the in the class, and the 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 student must uh, what is that? Must give good good appreciation for the for the student who has good attitude and the last is no discriminate here is the important point why i said the important point because uh, in the i have said just now in the class there are many characters of there and here the, the teachers must uh adil to all the students well maybe any 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 other comments from Alfon or uh Pak Muklis or Bu me, me uh, uh in my opinion in the phenomena in the school and the class uh in opinion why the uh teacher uh, give to a uh, teacher uh, maybe in uh, opinion, a student uh, is uh, long to student uh, give to uh, learning method uh, because in uh, F, uh, efficient learning method, maybe uh, in opinion, there is a student in let like, uh, to class in uh, can uh, because kemampuannya to re atau low uh, so. Uh, so uh, me all the uh, 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 sebagai guru give to uh, metho, uh, pembelajaran atau metode learning method because uh, in my, uh, my opinion uh, my in the method is a very be uh, best uh, teacher might be a, a student can bisa to, to memahami in another uh, Usually uh, in the class, uh, makes two groups, uh, two group or three another. Uh, uh, in the class, basically, can uh, left uh, level uh, red right or low. Nah, gimana uh, gimana caranya kita di dal uh, to uh, group itu there is uh, low in uh, red. Right. So nah, uh, after that, if the uh, two group maju ke depan untuk mempres mempres mempresentasikan ke depan sehingga uh, so uh, student can be uh, in education uh, learning maybe uh, in enough mungkin uh, opinion to another uh, yes i want to add uh, mr mokles opinion i get it that we have to combine that low ability uh we combine with uh the big ability i mean uh, a clever student in one group and we add uh some student that uh what's it a low level like yeah, this yes yes okay uh, i get it uh it will get uh, the motivation to have a uh, two level student will get the big motivation from the uh, what's it from the uh, uh, diligent student i think like this how do you think mr alfon so we have to combine in each group right Okay, so uh, based on my opinion, that students with more abilities or medium with low abilities or gather in one class, the class becomes more uh, multiculturalism. Okay, the first classes require different learning approach than teaching students with uh, multiculturalism abilities. So here, I mean the homogeneous classes are classes that are inhibited by students with the same or not much different abilities. 
and then uh, because by differences it can make a was that different conflict and then the teacher need different approach for solving it and then students with higher abilities are usually aware to why they come to the school on average maybe uh, with good academic grades or with low grades i mean while the student with low abilities uh, mostly have a lack of the enthusiasm for learning uh, in that case the classroom it looks like uh, they are just spending time maybe having fun with the bell that signal the end and the lesson rings but what happened with the low uh, student in academic grades maybe it is very poor in social condition actually in the classroom with uh, different with various uh, with uh, the kinds of unique of the students because they are diversity so i think it's uh, the most important for our discussion um i have also an additions for this topic because um we my class have uh, my other class have discussed about this topic before and i really uh one word from mr uh, miss miss molida um miss molida i have said about the humanities tolerance and like that okay, and if we face something like this problem in our class i think um it's better for us to to you know like don't make the students feel special for other students like like uh yeah she's special because she got a higher score she's special because uh she is rich or something like that don't um, make the situations in the classroom feel like that uh, as a teacher you can that's really nice for Mr. Muklis say that about uh, says about the uh, method of learning. The method of learning, my teacher, my lecturer have said about um, you can use the students that could high uh, good or the higher level uh, than the other students to explain about the material and to make the um, yeah like your assistants. Yeah, kalau di ini ada asisten dosen ya. You make your students, your, your smarter students or the clever students as an assistant to help you to uh, deliver the material to the other students. This is about, uh, it is related to the student's ability who is in lower and also upper than the other students. I think um, it's very nice for Mr. Alphon also said about uh, your opinion. That's, yeah, that's also one of the solutions, I think. But I don't know the other students, the other, I mean, like the other teacher, uh, face this problem. Well, else? and then I will add because why? Yes, our discussion is very interesting yes? uh, because we are come from different place, different student, different case, but uh, our topic is same. Yes, and then so uh, based on the heterogeneous of the classes, have the advantage uh, that the teachers can get assistant. You mean say uh, assistant like that? Uh, from the students who have more abilities because uh, Mrs. Penty just now said it, okay? The learning process is not centered uh, on the teacher, yes? So now we can combine by using the modern models, yes? Modern approach uh, based on the student or yeah, based learning. collaborative, sir. Yes, collaborative. collaborative. Okay, well, because uh, I think the student will be active and then uh, we cannot make differences between where is the high student with from uh, high economy and low economic and then with uh, low grade and higher grade okay so they are same and the weakness is that some students uh, such as the teachers feel more comfortable uh, working with the student who have the same abilities especially uh, those who are above average, okay? So uh, we, as the English teacher, maybe we can, uh, what's that? Please, our position is not in front of the student, but among the students, okay? Maybe we can going on the next slide. Okay. Yes. It's better for us to move.
Okay. Uh, I think the others want to, um, you know, like first speaker for this topic. Yes, in English learning, we face that the most of students is hard to master all aspects such as English skills and component. Yes, it's absolutely that uh, what said uh, it's uh, possible that one student, I mean, one of thousand students, yes, uh, one student can get what said can get mastery. Uh, for English skill perfectly. So uh, I think uh, like this, I give the example, a uh, student A can speak English well, but for writing, she lack on writing. So we have to support uh, their speaking. So uh, what's it, to, in, to, in, in, to improve their speaking, uh we give the motivation in this in the in that student a and then uh for, for example in student b uh, she master in writing but she cannot speak english fluently like, uh, i mean like this so uh what do you think guys i am um, agree with this statement that uh, it's possible that one student can master all English ability. As Ms. Ayu said just now, I'm agree too because, um, but uh, this is, I have the technique when, when the teacher want to combine uh, either clever student or not, uh, how to combine it for example uh, speaking lesson uh, in speaking lesson we can we can give some teamwork for uh, discussing maybe and 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 for the, for the technique of course uh, the clever student will combine with the stupid student so when they are conversation maybe we, uh, we are the we, uh, the student the sorry the teacher give conversation for them and uh, the clever student will conversation with the stupid student of course the stupid student will will apa, terpengaruh with the clever student something like that yes yes includes <laughs> same yes uh, maybe mr muglis you want to add the opinion i think maybe uh, another another okay miss Wendy, maybe Okay, um, I'm trying to face this problem, and yeah, it is also hard for this, the teacher, as me as an ELT teacher, to give a score if a students uh, have a good ability in grammar. But when I say him or her to speak up in the classroom, he will like silent every time, and it's hard for me. How can I give your speaking score with this? Uh, uh, situations and as the problem I don't have any specific solutions but I have a treatment to help the students like um, when the students miss I can't speak like I have no idea when I'm speaking so I also use media so uh, uh, I help them to record his voice through uh, through what is it in whatsapp voice note or recording and then she will record and you will listen you will listen and if you have any problem you will come for me and miss ask me uh what should i fix about this one so i have this uh, this experience to my students and it's really helpful for the students and also for the students with the lack of grammar of writing of the the other skills um, as an English teacher, we have to be creative. We have to be, um, you know, like, you don't have to, oh, 
you are so special in this, but you are so bad in the other skill. No, we don't have to judge the students like that. We have to help. And one of the term, I mean, like one of the cara that I have yeah. implemented before. Is, yeah, uh, I'm using, um, you know, like peer corrections with my students. So I, as I aja menuliskan some like um, wrong, incorrect, sorry, incorrect sentence. And I give to her to 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 uh, correct doing correction. So it's not about the teacher should correct uh, doing corrections, but the, the the students have also a change to uh, make a corrections. Jadi kalau merasa ngoreksi ini kan, merasa oh this is the uh, the wrong thing and something like that. And also for for I think it's better for us to build their their idea. Jadi kalau ide itu we we ask the students. What is your idea? It will like a blank space. It like, like a black hole. We don't have any idea. But if we help them, like um, we have a topic. Like topic today is flood, but banjir. They will fill blank. If you, if you say, uh, okay, you help to write about the flood. I think almost the students will what what we should write. They will you know like confused. But if we have a we as a teacher make a method, idea like a creative for the students to help them to develop, build their ability on writing and, and also speaking. It's better for us to uh, become more creative. Jadi bekerja lebih lah sebagai guru gitu. Nggak boleh like, oh ya sudah dia emang rendah di situ. We don't care, we don't have to be like a teacher, don't care about um, students' problem. I think uh, that's for me. Any yes. additions? Yes. So... I will add. I will add Or, first. Okay, uh, cool. Uh, 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 as uh, Miss Benti said just now, as Miss Benti tell just now, its name is the name of the problem is block mental. So block oh, mental cool. is uh, the student will will feel afraid or shy before. Uh, before they know what is the materi. So, yeah. sudah takut duluan yes, before yes. I see, I see. Uh, no, before understand the materi. This is uh, something like shameless maybe ya, yeah. and not confidence and what is that? And teman-temannya. Okay. Yeah, okay. In uh, I'm opinion, uh, I agree. Ah, uh, me yeah. In uh, opinion, I agree to Miss uh, Bu Benti uh, because uh, we with student give um, maybe motivation or uh, apa namanya pendekatan. Approach. So uh, approach. So student uh, apa namanya because uh, because uh, study in by step by step. Mungkin uh, with the com uh, communica uh, communication to, uh, with parent, maybe a uh, parent to. Uh, motivation to uh, stud uh, studentnya atau uh, anaknya children uh, children uh, because uh, use uh, how study uh, atau uh, mendatangkan become to uh, teacher less uh, guru less my, uh, may, maybe in uh, yes uh, my opinion okay and then uh, I interest with uh, Miss Maudia Ben, Miss Benti, Miss Jayu, and Miss Buglis, and all of them, I agree because why here we know that and back to the our topic that while the student who are forced to become the teacher assistant yes or play with a role in helping the students with abilities below them, so feel they have to slow down in the learning process because uh, where they should have stepped up. Uh, to learn the new knowledge or a new competency yeah, in, in English uh, we know that skill okay so the student with the less ability can be considered a source uh, of problem that slow down the teaching and learning process so here means the was that stigma arises that causes for self-confidence Uh, like a mental block, yes, blocking mental. 
and to be lost from the student which low abilities. So uh, here very, what's that? Very complex because uh, we know that in our class, yes, in our class, they are very different and they are very unique. And the most important as the English teacher, we have to serve all them and how uh, the best way for us as the teacher. So actually uh, depend on our condition. It cannot be same. Maybe uh, when I stay in Pasuruan and Miss Benti in Kalimantan, it's different. Different yes, case. And different. So different the ways for solving the problem. But I think uh, as the teacher, as the English teacher, we have to know by diagnostic first to all the students. So uh, here is very important and determined not only for giving the material as the learning process, but the attitude and then all of them, yeah, all of them like uh, for the, what's that? If in Kalimantan, maybe say uh, tribes, yes. So different tribe because I know if Daya consists of many tribes, yes or not. If Madura, Madura only one, Madura, Maduranese maybe, yes. Java, Javanese, but uh, when actually uh, this, for example, maybe if in Kalimantan, yes, we know that Daya, but Daya, Many, uh, many, so many tribes, so yes, yes, so yeah, many, so many. So many language, many character, many background, and the others. Okay, so uh, back, uh, and then we now we go on to the next slide, the last slide, and then here is very important for us. And what do you do as an English teacher for solving it? I mean, so big about the topic. Yes, maybe who wants to first for discussing it or maybe giving conclusion because so I, uh, our discussion is very enough. May uh, we can uh, check the conclusion uh, by our opinion. So which one is the keyword, which one is the keylog for solving it? Go on. Yeah. I'm trying to. I'm trying. Okay. Yes, go on. Sorry, not sorry, Mr. Owens. I'm trying to make like a simple not simple conclusions. This is not a solving, uh, problem solving, but just like a, a simple conclusions from me about our topic today. It's really interesting topic, right? And um, I feel uh, so, so blessed to have this group to discuss because this is really helpful. And what uh, just about, uh, what just Mr. Alphonse said about the diversity. And one of the uh, example here, I, I have teach about the students about uh, one word here, vocabulary, about the railway, railway. What is railway? And no one can answer because why? In Kalimantan, we don't have any, you know, like train. So they don't understand. And also the tower, like a tower, Mercusuar. They don't understand because there's no Mercusuar here. There's no uh, uh, rail stations here. So if I, uh, what Mr. Open said, you don't have to put uh, diversity to be the same thing, to be the similarity. We don't have to put it because diversity is unique. That's why diversity is beautiful. Just what Ms. Yayu, uh, Buya you say, diversity is so beautiful. We have to be uh, terbiasa with the word diversity. It is, uh, which is in school or in our society. It's, um, you know, like everything is unique, is special. I think that's my conclusions. I don't have any idea, any words here to, uh, to, to say. I think, yeah, it's from me, Mr. Open. Anyone else? Okay. Well, maybe another wants to add before I uh, check the important point for our discussion. Maybe yeah. Asia. Yeah. Enough. In I think enough, sir, because uh, our explanation is the uh, English teacher. Uh, we have got the point of discussion okay. tonight. Well, if uh, there is like that, so maybe here uh, I 
want to give was that the most important maybe for us for our discussion tonight and then the teacher must be know that more about the abilities and the potential of their students so the potential here not for all the teacher but the students too and then of course that is not easy in practice especially the teachers in the fight of the study in many schools who have to teach in the several places or with a uh, variant of the student with diversity of the student and then uh, but we know uh, to what's that make the seems to indicate that there is no time for us to reflection and carrying out yes so the reflection here is very important to develop the learning process so uh, maybe here yeah, uh, the last for our discussion so i back to miss bendy go on Okay, thank you so much, Alphonse and the others. And I think this is the last and the last time for us to discuss. And I think that's all. There's no additional uh, idea. Thank you, Professor Alphonse. You have to make a good conclusions for us. Okay, I think that's all for, for today. Um, good morning and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning, wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Good morning and wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Oh. Thank you.